I didn't recognize how steep those steps were. And right when we got out, I bit it so hard going off the steps. I'm just like, I'm literally so clumsy. Do you regret not wearing more comfortable shoes to rose ceremonies? Yes, because you don't realize how long those ceremonies are. So I do regret not wearing more comfortable sho uh, shoes to rose ceremony. I remember one time Jordan Kimball wore a robe and I was very jealous of that because sometimes you could sit up there, stand up there for over an hour. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long time. <laughs> do you regret not eating the food on one-on-one -on -one dates? I don't regret not eating the food on one-on-one -on -one dates and that's because of the fact that we actually ate before the dates. So <laughs> I would eat before and then I wasn't focused. I regret, you know, that's that's probably it. Maybe not having, uh, I don't think, I'm trying to think, I don't believe they refilled their drinks. So it would have been nice if they did a refill there. Was the food good at least? The food was great. It was great. <laughs> sure. Do you regret any of your kissing skills when you watch back the show afterwards? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that always makes me blush. I don't regret that. <laughs> Do you regret going to Becca's hotel? hotel room and laying it all out on the line and giving her the storybook at the end of your relationship. I don't. I don't regret that. For me, it was a, a way of closing the door and um, it was it was a necessity to move on to the next chapter. Are, are you still friendly with Becca? Do you guys still ever keep in touch? Yep. Caitlin and I are great friends with her and we, uh, you know, we're big fans of her. We fully support everything she has going on and she's doing a lot. And so, it's, it's great to have friendships like that. Totally. Uh, do you, is there any embarrassing moment from the show that you regret? Uh, <laughs> I always I always joke around about there's two embarrassing moments. One was when Becca forgot my name. The other thing was when we got off, uh, it, was, it wasn't for hometowns, and we actually rented a house. And so that was a house that was rented because I was adamant about it being in Buffalo with my brother and his husband mm -hmm. living in New York City, and my parents living in Charlotte. And um, I didn't recognize how steep those steps were. And right when we got out, I bit it so hard going off the steps. I'm just like, I'm literally so clumsy. Can't make it up. And of course, the cameras caught it. Thank you. Blue Blue's real. Here we go. Here we go. Do you regret any moments that you broke down in tears on the show, if you did, and why? Um, no. I think the, the beauty, part of the beauty of this show is there's so many distractions in life and there's so many things happening and having the opportunity to kind of put your phone away and put all these distractions away and just focus on yourself, your story, your journey, mm -hmm. uh, where you are and why you've been there through it all was one of the things that like helped me really connect, I guess, more emotionally with myself, which is, which is something that is uh, so important, something I put off for so long. So I think for emotions that, that came out, it was, it was probably healthy. And uh, for me, I think I did come out more connected with myself emotionally than I went in. Definitely. And then do you regret any, I don't know if I can't remember, but do you regret any of the hot tub dates that you had on The Bachelor? Did you have any on The Bachelorette? <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't get that. Fortunately for me, we had all these like NFL guys and MLB guys and we had <laughs> Uh, uh, one of the Harlem Globetrotters, and we had a couple of pro soccer players. So mm -hmm. the Buffalo chicken wing eating guy, my shirt never came off. <laughs> Did you ever consider Paradise after, or was it, you know, what was kind of the timeline there? Did you ever consider it, or was that just never on the on the table for you? I did. Um, I actually, yeah, I actually signed the contract to go to Paradise after my season. And then after thinking through it um, in more detail, I ended up uh, pulling the plug and not going. So I was highly, highly considering going. And then I made the decision um, last minute to, to bail on that. Yeah, how come you just didn't, weren't feeling it? Just didn't want to kind of go through it again? Yeah, there were some was personal things. I think uh, the idea of it sound, you know, the idea sounded enticing, but the reality of it wasn't. Yeah. And anyone, you know, I, I just think going to, if you're going to go to paradise, um, you know, go for, you know, a good purpose. And for me, at the end of the day, I couldn't justify that. Yeah, totally. And then final question, you know, a lot of people talked about this season. And we've talked to a lot of contestants about this, about producers getting involved in storylines at all. Did you ever feel like that happened on your on your season at all? Like, were you ever forced to do something that you didn't feel comfortable with or anything like that? Yeah, one of the things I always say about the show is people, the number one question I usually get is, is the show scripted? And it's not, it's not. If there's not one time a producer asked me to uh, say something or anything was scripted, it, it just wasn't the, the case. And so 
I think, uh, of course, there's production components involved. Come on, there, of course there is. Um, but at the same token, I think it was easy to see um, who was, um, be, like where there were people who took control to say that's not happening mm -hmm. and where other people were um, willing to do certain things. And for me, I had a hard stance on a lot of things. Like uh, I would have, there are certain situations I would rather have left than uh, have stayed on the show to do things, if that made sense. Mm -hmm.